So here we have an equation in terms of x, y, and z. And we're asked to find the partial derivative of z with respect to x and the partial derivative of z with respect to y. Now we're going to use the implicit function theorem to get the answer. And then we're going to talk about another way that we can get the answer. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing we want to do is move the 8 to the other side so we can get a 0 on the right side. And we're going to represent that as f of x of y. I mean f of x comma y. So that's going to be x squared plus y to the fourth minus z to the third plus 3xy squared minus 8, which is equal to 0. So once you have this function, you want to find the partial derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of x squared will be 2x. We're going to treat y as if it's a constant, and the same is true for z. So that's going to become 0. Now this has an x in it. So the derivative of x is 1. And the derivative of the constant negative 8, that's 0. So f of x is 2x minus 3y squared. So we're going to save that for later. Now, let's find the partial derivative with respect to y. So the derivative of y to the fourth is 4y cubed. The derivative of these two, we're going to treat them as constants. So they're going to be 0. Now for this one, we're going to treat the 3x part as a constant, but we're going to take the derivative of y squared, which is 2y. And so this is going to give us 4y cubed plus 6xy. Now I noticed that I made a small mistake. This should be positive and not negative. So now let's move on to f sub z. The only term with a z variable is this. The derivative of x squared, y to the fourth, 3x, y to the second power, and negative 8, all of that is going to be 0. So f sub z is going to be negative 3z squared. So now that we have that, we can calculate the partial derivative of z with respect to x. So this is going to be z sub x. z sub x is equal to negative f sub x over f sub z. So that's negative times 2x plus 3y squared divided by negative 3z squared. So we can cancel out the negative sign, giving us this answer, 2x plus 3y squared over 3z squared. So that's the first answer. That's the partial derivative of z with respect to x. Now, let's calculate the partial derivative of z with respect to y. So that's going to be z sub y, and that's equal to negative f sub y over f sub z. So f sub y is 4y cubed plus 6xy, and f sub z is negative 3z squared. Once again, we can cancel the negative sign. And so it's going to be 4y cubed plus 6xy over 3z squared. So that's how we could use the implicit function theorem to get these two partial derivatives. Now, let's use another method to get the same two answers. So we're going to use implicit differentiation on this equation. So let's find this one first. So we need to find a partial derivative of z with respect to x. When we differentiate x squared with respect to x, it's just going to be 2x. Notice that there's no y variable in that expression. So we're going to treat y as if it's a constant. The derivative of y to the fourth is going to be 0. Now, when, when we're differentiating a z variable, we're going to add the partial derivative of z with respect to x next to it. The derivative of negative z to the third power is negative 3 z squared, and then it's going to be times the partial derivative of z with respect to x. Now, for this one, 
the 3 and the y squared are constants. So all we need to do is differentiate x. So it's going to be 3 times 1 times y squared. And then the derivative of 8 is going to be 0. So now what we need to do is isolate this variable. So the 3y squared and the 2x, we're going to move to the other side. So we're going to have negative 3z squared times the partial derivative of z with respect to x. And that's going to equal negative 2x minus 3y squared. Now the next thing that we need to do is divide both sides by negative 3z squared. And then we're going to factor out a negative sign in the numerator. So it's going to be negative and then 2x plus 3y squared over negative 3z squared. And now we could cancel the negative sign. So thus this is going to give us the answer that we had before. 2x plus 3y squared divided by 3z squared. So that's another way in which you can get the same answer. Now let's find the other answer, the partial derivative of z with respect to y, using the same process. So we're going to treat x as if it's a constant. So once we take the derivative of that, that's going to be 0. The derivative of y to the fourth will be 4y cubed. And the derivative of z to the third will be 3z squared, but times the partial derivative of z with respect to y. Now, the 3x will be treated as a constant, but we're going to differentiate the y squared part since we have y in that expression. So it's going to be times 2y equal to 0. So let's move this term to the other side and the 4y cubed to the other side. So it's going to be negative 3z squared times the partial derivative of z with respect to y, and that's going to equal negative 4y cubed minus 6xy. And then divide both sides by this. And so we have the partial derivative of z over the partial, I mean, with respect to y, is going to be negative. Let's factor our negative sign again. 4y cubed plus 6xy over this. And then we can get rid of the negative sign, giving us our answer. 4y to the third plus 6xy, all divided by positive 3z squared. So now you have two ways in which you can get these two partial derivatives. Now let's work on another example for the sake of practice. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. So let's begin. Let's begin by moving the 6 to the other side. So we could say that f of x comma y is x y cubed plus x squared z squared minus 6 which is equal to 0. So now let's find the partial derivative with respect to x. So then the derivative of x will be 1 so this is going to be 1 times y cubed and the derivative of x squared will be 2x and we're treating y cubed and z squared as constants and this will be 0. So this is going to turn out to be y cubed plus 2x z squared. So now let's move on to the partial derivative with respect to y. So we're going to treat x and z as constants. The derivative of y cubed is 3y squared. This doesn't have a y variable in it, so that's going to be 0. So it's just going to be 3x y squared. Now let's find a partial derivative with respect to z. This term doesn't have a z variable so that's going to be 0. And then it's going to be x squared times the derivative of z squared which is 2z. And so we're going to get 2x squared times z. So now let's find the partial derivative of z with respect to x. So that's z sub x and that's going to be negative f of x over f of z. 
So that's going to be negative times y cubed plus 2x z squared divided by 2x squared z. So that's our first answer. We can't really simplify it um, at this point, so we're just going to leave it like that. Now let's find a partial derivative of z with respect to y. So that's going to be z sub y. So that's negative f of y over f of z. So f of y is going to be 3xy squared. f of z is 2x squared z. Now we can cancel an x variable. So we could simplify our answer to negative 3y squared over 2xz. So that's the partial derivative of z with respect to y. And so that's it for this problem. That's how we could use the implicit function theorem to get the answer.